Well, a comedy on Netflix starring Oscar winner actor, singer, comedian Jamie Foxx will have you rolling over with laughter. Dad, stop embarrassing me. It's about a single dad who has to figure out how to raise a strong-minded teenage daughter who moves in with him. The show, inspired by his real-life relationship with his eldest daughter, Corinne Fox, who both serve as executive producers in the series. Take a look. Sasha, Malia, yes, we can. Okay, when the Obama starts, I gotta go. Oh. Our first guest, Heather Hemmins, plays Fox's assistant and right-hand woman. She joins us now with more on the highly anticipated show. Good morning, Heather, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. Well, not in Atlanta, one of my favorite cities, unfortunately, but... You know, my voice is present. Yeah, exactly. One day we'll all be together once again. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed. Well, tell us more about the character that you play, Stacey Collins, and the relationship between her and Fox's character. So I play Stacey, and she is his assistant, right-hand woman. She runs his company, but there's, there's also a spark there. You know, she's, mm. she's become part of the family. She's a confidant for him and his daughter, sometimes gets in the middle of things a little bit. But they, they both trust her and uh, love her dearly. And I think we're going to see that relationship with Jamie's character blossom a little bit. There's a little spark and they just got to make a flame, you know. Oh, excited to see that. And also excited about this because there are two legends in the series. Jamie Foxx reunites with 90s Living Color alum David Allen Greer. So excited about this. What is it like being on the set with these incredible artists? They are so hilarious and so talented, and seeing them together, they have such an old rapport. I'm calling it the, the biggest throwback of 2021. Uh, the two of them together, dynamite. There was a lot of improv, uh, so I had to keep up. I had to be on my toes at all times, but we were laughing so much and having such a good time that it never once felt like work. How do you do it? I mean, when they're improvising so much, I can imagine like there's no script that is just straightforward because they're going to bring in a line somewhere there. And how do you keep your composure or do you keep your composure when they do that? You don't. I tried. <laughs> and then you realize you just give up because it's pointless. And we all laugh. We all break character. And the, the most fun thing was that we would laugh at each other. And then it just keeps going and going. And somebody does a really good improv or a really bad one those are even funnier they don't make the cut but we have fun with those on set so you just roll with the punches and and the more fun that you have i think it translates in the show and i really hope that when viewers watch it they're laughing along i'm pretty sure they will too it must be nice too to see even jamie fox with his real life daughter corinne and, and the relationship that they have because they're so good together and you can see how much she respects and loves her father do you does she does she bring a lot to the show i know she's the executive producer does she put her little take on how she feels that everything is going all the different scenes absolutely she is coming in hot as wow. boss lady and as Jamie's boss, as all of our boss, he's executive producer too, but her voice is loud and clear in the room. And I just love to watch her work in front of in behind the camera. You know, it's, her character is played by Kyla Drew, a very talented young actress, but it's all based on Corinne Fox's diaries and her relationship with Jamie. He's an incredible dad, a very interactive dad, but they do have those moments where you're raising a teenage daughter and it's chaos and there's TikTok and there's all there's a whole world to navigate of, of young teens and he makes hilarity out of it. Yeah, and, and something else that I was reading about you too that I find quite impressive, I, you do quite a bit. You're a band member, black belt in martial arts, a certified chef, a candle maker. Is there anything that you want to do that you're not doing right now when you're not acting? <laughs> Oh, gosh, is all of that on the Internet? Yeah, um, yes. <laughs> I, I like to keep busy and, you know, life as an actor. I'm very blessed right now to have two shows going, but it's not always that stable. And so um, to keep my mind from wandering off into um, a not so good place, sometimes I've picked up a lot of hobbies and I like to keep busy. And that really came in handy over the quarantine because it, it, it can get uh, stale, you know, and so being able to cook healthy meals that I enjoyed was a great bonus, um, making candles and just sent up the home really nice. So I kind of used all of those 
skills and even my martial arts skills uh, are based in meditation and mm -hmm. flexibility and yoga. So that was something I also focused on to just get through and survive the quarantine. Pulling off the layers, getting to know you. Heather, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Oh, thank you so much. Everyone enjoy the show on Netflix. Thank you so much for watching. And we will be watching. Take care. Once again, Dad, Stop Embarrassing Me is streaming now on Netflix.